Hey guys, so we're looking at an example on rigid body motion and in particular horizontal acceleration. So here are, here's our example. We've got a truck here. Uh, it's carrying a container of water which is 70% full. It suddenly breaks, decelerating at 5 meters per second squared and we're asked to determine whether any water escapes. So for rigid body motion, we established that dz on dy equals negative ay on az plus g. And we said that this relates uh, the acceleration of the fluid to what's happening at the surface. So if we go back to our example and we draw in our axes, so we'll have, that will be our y axis, up will be our z axis. In our case, because the truck is only moving along the y direction, our az is equal to zero. In the uh, question, it said it decelerates at 5 meters per second squared, so uh, AY will be negative 5. So AZ equal to 0, AY equals negative 5. So we can uh, sub this into our acceleration equation here, and we'll get DZ on DY. So the bottom will be just 9.81 because AZ is 0, and that will be 0.51. Now we need to find what our DZ and DY are. If we go back to the question, because the truck is decelerating, we expect the fluid to bunch up at the front of the truck. Um, so if you think of braking in a car, you're thrown forward when someone slams on the brakes. Same thing applies for fluids. Um, so, here we expect the surface, surface of the fluid to look something like that. So it's bunching up at the, it'll tilt and bunch up at the front. So our dz on dy will just be the gradient of that line. So our dy is the run, dz is the rise, so dz we're going to say is the height of the deflection, so it tilts h above the original state, so above the horizontal line, and dy, uh, looking at the dimensions of the truck, it will be just the uh, half the length of the container, which is one meter. So dz is h, dy is one, so we get h equal to 0.51 meters. So 